So for the last couple, so for the last couple of weeks, we've had new, we've had like kind of like rumors that Baron Corbin has got nuclear heat um, in WWE now, uh, and you can see that on TV how they basically have been booking him since hit, you know, since his heat. Um, obviously, at um, on that SmackDown before SummerSlam, he lost his money to Ben Briefcase. Then after that, um, he dropped to John Cena. So, you know, you can really see that they're not really happy with Baron Corbin. Now, why, now I know a lot of you guys are saying, why has Baron Corbin got heat? Well, I don't know why he's got heat, to be honest. All I heard is that he sent a tweet to somebody and he was being a dick on Twitter. And apparently, he's got heat. And now, now I understand that he's standing in character. Now, I always like when people tweet in kayfabe or they're still in character while they're tweeting or if they're saying something on YouTube or something like that for an angle. But if it was against it, like a charity or something, I would understand that because WWE are our charity. You know, they're very in with their charity based things. But if it's just something like saying something just what's whatever, then why? Um, but anyway, sabotaging Baron Corbin doesn't make any sense because here's a young star, Baron Corbin, that is going to go places in the next five to ten years in the WWE. And. I know that you have this rep in the in the wrestling business say if somebody's done anything wrong then you've got heat or they're getting buried because they said or did something wrong. Now I understand that you have to punish the guy if he says something really bad on Twitter but the fact of the matter is that what has he said because I don't know I, I mean I didn't see the tweets I was just reading the lines and obviously seeing what I've heard and whatever and seeing what I've seen on TV so I'm just basically seeing how they're booking him now I, it looks like to me they're doing a Damien Sandow on Baron Corbin now I hope he doesn't turn out like Damien Sandow and doesn't get real like he gets I hope he doesn't get repackaged like him and he's doing goofy gimmicks every week I hope that Baron Corbin at least gets a like I don't know like out of this nuclear heat thing and at least gets a better push because sabotaging Baron Corbin would absolutely suck for WWE because Here's another young star gone out of the company. I mean, he could end up in GFW or Ring of Honor or even uh, GF, not GFW. Yeah, I said GFW. I mean, uh, New Japan. And he could tear it up. I mean, look at Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, he was a guy for, uh, he was in the company, what, 10, 11 years. Um, you try to repackage him so many times. Um, he was frustrated with creative. And then what did he do? He left the company and he was tearing it up. He's been tearing, he's been tearing it up in New Japan, in the G1. And he's been turned up in Ring of Honor. He's a former Ring of Honor. He's a current Ring of Honor world champion. A world champion in a in a different promotion. Not the WWE. He's holding the Ring of Honor world championship. So he's saying F you to like WWE saying, you know what? You didn't see me as a world champion. Well, look what I did. I went to Ring of Honor. I went to New Japan and I proved myself. Look at Drew McIntyre, Drew Galloway. He... You know, went away for a couple of years and then came back and he won the NXT Championship, you know, last on Saturday. And, you know, they're, they're uh, kicking themselves in the teeth like that. Like they're kicking themselves in the teeth saying, damn, another guy we let go, but we brought him back. And it's our, our, fault because, our fault because we didn't see the potential in him or whatever. So, you know, if they let go, if Baron Corbin gets let go for, his, you know, if, he, if he's like tired of getting heat or whatever... Then I don't blame the guy, but it's a loss for WWE. And yeah, I mean, at a time when you really need to build stars in the WWE, especially when you've got your face of the company, John Cena, who's a part time guy, and you know, you real I mean, you cannot keep relying on the part timers. I, I understand that they drop some money. You know, your Brock Lesnar, your John Cena, your Goldbergs, and whoever. But there uh, comes a point in time in the WWE that you're going to have to listen to the fans and actually push, you know, your Baron Corbins. And you're going to have to push, in, you know, the full-time guys because eventually some of these full-time guys are actually going to go somewhere else. And they're actually going to actually become main event guys in another promotion. So, you know, the thing is with WWE, I mean, I know that in the business, like, they have to do a lot of things and stuff, whatever, but, like... If he's got heat, just like let it blow over and hopefully let him at least redeem some of his career now before we get two or three years later down the road and he ends up like a Damien Sandow where he's basically not in the WWE, he's not featured, he's not 
promote if he's not even in a storyline, he's not even on TV in general, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think about WWE trying to sabotage um, Baron Corbin? Leave your thoughts down below, guys, and I'll check you later.